Good morning, everybody. We've got a couple tips today uh, how to make the most of your quarantine and get yourself financially organized. Today is about getting your taxes ready for filing. You have now until June 1st, that's an extra month to get organized and get filed. Um, this is a really quick tutorial on what you need to include in your tax filing package. When in doubt though, include all the receipts that you think might have some kind of tax credit or deduction available with those receipts. Include all of that and your tax professional will help you sort through all that. So let's start first with T slips. These are your T4s, T3s, T5s, anything that has a T on top, that needs to be included in your tax filing. If you're not sure, if you're missing a T4 slip, go on to CRA My Account under Related Resources and you can actually download your forms for the 2019 tax year. Next are your receipts. These are things like receipts for childcare, RRSPs, charitable or political contributions. We'll have a list of receipts that are eligible for um, tax credit and deductions. Include all those receipts. Don't forget medical receipts. If you spent more than $2,300, $2,352 to be exact, you can include those receipts. The next item is additional income. Income, whether it's here in Canada or from around the world, you'll need to have your invoices for that income included in your tax filing. Also, if you received um, child or spousal support, include that as well. Next, if you're a student, you will want to include things like your T2202. This is your tuition receipt uh, so that you can get your credits uh, for your taxes. Parents, if you pulled money for an RESP for your child, uh, make sure you have those receipts. There are a whole bunch of other credits and deductions like the first time home buyer credit, um, the volunteer firefighter credit that you might be eligible for. We're gonna have a list of that associated with this post, so check that list out. When in doubt, include everything you think you're eligible for and your tax professional will help you sort this through. Um, so too will a DIY tax software. You can use one of those and there should be boxes for all of the credits and deductions that are available to you. Hope this was helpful. Again, check out the associated um, link to our checklist so that you don't miss anything and try and make the most of your time in quarantine.